guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got my dad here again today to help me vape on the Rinco Cito or Keto. Not sure how it's pronounced. Little tiny pod style device. Let's go up close and personal, check it out, and we'll come back and I'll give it some vapes for you guys. Here is the packaging for the Cito, not sure, by Rinco here. On the back it does have the kit contents and a little bit of warnings. So let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh, broke the box. <laughs> that was not my intention. And they did send me a couple extra pods for this as well. We do have a quality control certificate, a user's manual, and a warranty card as well. So it does come with a micro USB to USB charge cable. All right, so here it is, and it is super, super tiny. It does have this almost carbon fiber look on the front and on the side here is the micro USB port. So this does have a 370 milliamp hour battery. The pods do hold two mils of e-liquid and the coil resistance in there is 1.3 ohms. It is 80 millimeters tall by 10 millimeters in thickness and 37.5 millimeters across. This does have some protection features which include low battery protection, charging protection, short circuit protection, and overuse protection. You can see the mouth hole is right at the top on the corner of the pod right here. On the side it does have this light next to the charge port which does indicate a few different things. So while you're inhaling it does indicate battery level and then also while it's charging it indicates the battery level. And it does cut off after 10 seconds and it will be a red flashing light otherwise it's blue. To fill it you just pull the pod out and it does say right here before use please tear off the sticker. So we're going to tear off this little sticker. Doesn't want to come off very easily. And that reveals some contacts right here. Get all that sticker gunk off. And this is how you fill it. You just pull up this little tab and you fill down in there. And I'm going to use this little needle nose that I got from another pod style kit earlier and I'm going to be it's filled with my cloud kiss my very first flavor available at bonsaivapor.com you can use my coupon code tia20 for 20% off my flavor or any other flavor on bonsai vapors website and you can see through it this is a black table I need to change that I need to get like a white table I'll show you can you see through it through my phone kind of you can kind of see through it. <laughs> I'll close that back up and put it back in this way. <laughs> it is magnetic, so just clip in right there. And when you install it, the little blue light flashes to signal that you have installed it correctly. All right, let's take it up to FaceTime and give this little pod mod a vape. <laughs> and now we're back. Wow. First off, love the feel and shape of it in your hand and talk yeah. about pocket friendly i mean it goes right in the pocket won't slip out what else it's oh, super tiny i got my silver lego brick you in there too around? oh yeah i carry that around i used to carry lego guy uh, a lego guy in my pocket but now i have that so i carry that that's pretty bad which i'd rather have a lego in a pocket than a beer in my hand all right, so I, you know, next thing to do, I like how it feels. Let's see how it yields. Yeah, it's really smooth. It's like a worry rock. I like that smooth texture. Very decent cloud production for such a tiny little hand friendly. Ooh, we all like stuff that's friendly in the hand. <laughs> yeah, and you know, these things are meant for Nick salts. They're really good for Nick salts, but I don't vape Nick salts or really know anybody that vapes them, so. I just put my flavor in there because it's the best. And Cloud Kiss <laughs> is just about righteous. <laughs> so, I'm gonna give it a few like fast ones, see if it gives me a dry hit or not. Yeah, see if it can keep up with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because those are definitely meant for like mouth along. Quick, yeah, quick nick fixes. And it is like a, I think it's like a 1.3 ohm coil, if I remember Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So it's 
So it's above ohm. Well, that in itself right there, keeping up with hitting like that, that's what you want it to do when you have one of these and you're using the Nick salts. Now, obviously, it's not Nick salts in here, otherwise I'd be all bang, you know, all <laughs> over the place because those Nick salts, so the, ooh, I've reviewed some that are tough as shees. Yeah. Man. Too much for me. No doubt. They they can be rough. That's That may be a young man's game. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. And no, and here's the thing. A lot of times with these, you take three or four of them like that in succession and you feel some warm. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, that translates into the flavor, you know, as, as you take each, each vape, the flavor gets warmer and warmer and you can taste that. Mm -hmm. No warm in this and the flavor stayed the same. That, that's important. Yeah, right on. Hey, Rinko, get a hold of me. Check this out on the vape lounge. Yeah, I'd like to see more from them. I mean, it's, it's, I know this isn't important to many people, but I think it's cute. Like, I like small and compact. I like things like that. Yeah. It's totally something I would, I would carry in my purse. One of the first mods I carried for the longest time was the Inakin. I had all kinds. The Chroma. Kind, yeah, the Chroma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had way bigger ones and stuff, but I just didn't need that. I'm not a cubicle guy, so I ain't got nowhere to set that. It's got to be in my pocket on the go because of the work that I do and stuff, which, yeah. <laughs> and my BD. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with that little thing. And I think the front is, this is carbon fiber. Oh, that, yeah, that probably is. So yeah. A little bit of protection from like droppage. Yep. And it doesn't feel cheap either. To no, me. Like, it doesn't. I've had ones that feel kind of flimsy and whatnot. And this, like you said, it feels like a worry stone. But even when you go up to the top where the where the pod is, it still feels very, very similar. I mean, of course, it's a different material. I'm not going to say it's exactly like a fab, but it does feel very similar, almost like a solid piece, like a key fob, like a very well made key fob. Yeah. So uh, that is the keto. I'm trying to make it give me a dry hit because I just want to see if it will is. Well, if you vape through two mils, it will because it only holds two mils. Well, yeah, but there's still plenty of there. It was full. So I've been trying to get it. And as long as it's full, I'm not getting a dry hit. Yeah, I think the, the wick and everything is all in, in closed. So you can't really see what it's doing. Yeah, yeah, you really can't. I was trying to check that out. That's where the thickest part is. You can't see through it. Mm -hmm. Although I did vape up a good, I can vape up two mils in a minute. I miss vaping. <laughs> I can't wait to vape again. She says that every time she sees me. Dad, I miss vaping. I never, <laughs> I never vape again. She will vape again. I will vape again. Soon, in five weeks. How torturous <laughs> to have your flavor come out when you can't even vape it. Oh my God. I know, and everyone's like, it's so good, and I'm like, I know, sort of. <laughs> I mean, I did have to test it a little bit to, before we put it out, but I mean, look at the cloud that thing's putting out. I'm, I'm impressed. And it's really not giving you any dry hits? Wow. No, I got it really far down, too. I don't know if you guys out there in YouTube land can see it, but... There's only about a half mil left in there. Oh, wow. And it was full. And I'm trying because it's got to be able to do its job. So this is available on Rinco.com. That's R-I-N-C-O-E.com. If you have tried anything from Rinco, let me know in the comments below because I've actually never heard of this company myself. But I do, I am a fan of the pod Whoa. mods. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check the description box below for links to where to check out my dad on YouTube and where to check us both out outside of YouTube. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos. I do have a Patreon account where I do vape related monthly rewards over there. So if that's something that might interest you, you can check the link below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, this is my dad, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.